to feed a pig marijuana and to go through the process and sell this thing. I don't know where the idea came from. I don't know how it works out for the end user. I don't know if you get marijuana-laced bacon or what you get. But the people of Seattle, Washington have got to be incredibly interested in this point in time and be happy to see this opportunity coming towards them. Because they've got the chance. This, this, this is, And I know, if you go back into the last American election, there were two states that went through and said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and we're going to decriminalize marijuana. And Washington was one of them. And that's why I have to imagine that's part of the whole concept of why this butcher would go through and feed pigs marijuana. But let's ask the man himself. William is the, the fellow from this uh, br- branch, uh, BB Ranch Butcher Shop in uh, Washington and joins us on the program. William, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for calling me. No worries. Tell me, wh- what was the thought process between behind actually feeding your pigs marijuana plants? Well, I don't know. we just uh, been sitting around smoking pot with them for the last couple months since it's legal now. And, and the uh, young bucks, you know, I caught them out rolling spleef in the back behind the barn. And, uh, you know, they said, hey, uh, you know, this is a pretty good thing. And I said, well, let's, let's, uh, uh, let's have some and see what happens. <laughs> so do the, pigs, do the pigs go crazy for it? or? <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's... Uh, I'm a, I'm just the the communicator. I just I just work with some ranchers, and I got some pigs myself. And we've been trying all sorts of fun stuff with different things, and it's just basically uh, it's legal now. And I got some of the commercial pot growers that got a hold of me, and so we just call it feed, and we've just been feeding some, and we've had a blast with it. We've uh, we had a big pot pig gig. We sold out instantly, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And it's a whole whole story by itself. Um, but it's just another avenue for feed, and uh, we're able to. You know, we believe in pastured animals and things that uh, get live enzymes and stuff like that. So we've been we've been feeding animals the herbs coming off of the the guard the, the commercial growers for oregano and thyme and those type of things. So it's not it's not anything new. It's just a new item. You know, we've been having really a lot of fun with it. I, I know everybody's asking you the question, but do the pigs get high? Do they kind of get weird or? Well, uh, <laughs> let's put it this way. When we show up, when I when I come around and show up to say hi to them and stuff, they're all just kind of laying around on each other. They don't really get up and uh, come on over and say hi, and and they for some reason have put on weight faster than the other ones. So we haven't quite figured it out. We're just happy for them. That's all. <laughs> now, have you have you gone through the the process and tasted some of these pigs afterwards? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We had our we had our first pot pig gig. We called it. We sold it out. Uh, 150 people. It was a blast. You know, uh, uh, just a short, quick story. I was talking about it and the pot growers were there they were talking about how they grow the stuff and why this all why they need to get rid of it and we you know and uh one person stood up a woman stood up kind of across the room and she she kind of caught my attention and i i i asked her you know yeah what's up and she goes uh, uh i I, th- I think i read in the uh invitation that there's some type of an intermission during this meal and i kind of looked around the room and i'm like uh okay i uh i can what, and before I could even answer her question, she goes, anybody got a pipe? And uh, across the room, another guy goes, I got one. She goes, well, I got some bud. And the next thing I know, the whole room, except for three people, got up and left. <laughs> so and here, in, here in Washington, uh, it's legal to smoke, I guess. I don't know. They all went outside down to Post Alley where the where the gum wall is. You know, they got this famous gum wall here at pike's place market that's got gum stuck all over it yeah and uh, they all went out there and got baked <laughs> and the, the the funny thing about it is the chefs the joe and stuff they were coming with the next course and they come into the room to serve it with all this hot food ready to go we got all that we just we did a head to tail we did pot pig we did it from nose to tail you know what i mean we did yeah. the whole menu and we're i'm a chef and we just had a fun time making the menu and it was a blast. It was like seven courses and fun. But the whole room emptied out, and he comes in the room like, what the hell? Where is everybody? And I'm going like, hey, I didn't do it. He started yelling at me, going like, this is going to get cold. And, and so anyway, it, it, the whole thing's been fun like that. We're just, you know, we're having fun with it. We believe that it's, uh, we believe it's a healthy product for the animals, and we believe that it, you know, it probably has some, we don't know, medicinal powers to it or whatever, but 
Does it... we're, we're starting up the next batch right now, and we're going to we are we have a certain way we feed them at a certain time when we before we process them and stuff. And um, we're actually going to get some of the pot growers this time to take some of the meat and some of the fat and then get it tested however they want hmm. to see if there's any type of beneficial medicinal stuff that comes through the meat. So yeah, I was going to like, uh, does it does it change the taste of the the pig at yeah, all? Yeah, we we like I said, we do stuff. We we grow. I grow some pigs that we feed. Uh, uh, vodka too. We call them vodka pigs. Oh jeez. Um, we also feed some pigs that are getting some of the spent grains off of the brewery. There's Pike Place Brewery here that has all the grains after they make their beer. Um, all of them have nine percent protein in it, so it's still feed. And so we've been we've been slurring that into some stuff with some goat whey and things. Just just good food, just good products that uh, people eat type of stuff. And wow. um, we we actually did a blind test with the vodka pig. And the pot pig, and the pot pig has a little bit savorier flavor coming off of the same bloodline and the same pigs. And then also, uh, we we age all of our meat, so uh, we don't age chickens, obviously, but we age everything else. And uh, we've been doing some fun tests. Um, and the vodka pig color is a little bit pinker of the meat, and then the the uh, pot pig seems to be a little bit uh, more reddish in color as it ages. And now I've kept some of it off the first batch here, and we're going to make a couple prosciuttos out of the legs. Oh. So get a, get back to me in about a year, and we'll tell you what the prosciutto tastes like. <laughs> I have to imagine everybody, because you said it sold out in, in minutes. The whole Seattle's got to be buzzing, everybody from around there, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we're, um, we're obviously getting a bunch of press on this. As you can imagine, it's gone viral, which is pretty cool. But we're also getting people that asking people if they're interested, just go to the website, bb-ranch.com. Sign up for the newsletter and stuff. And for the people that are up in Northwest here, we're actually going out. We we just finished our last meals indoor because of the winter, and so now we're going to go outdoor to the ranches and do some barbecues and stuff. And we'll do a pot pig uh, ranch dinner, probably for about 300 people with you know full bore, you know the spit and the whole bit, and have I think you know people can smoke pot here, so I think it'll be pretty fun. I mean I I'm kind of past that myself, but I think it's just kind of a cool fun opportunity to have people be able to have some fun and express themselves in that sense too so and, and a chance i'm sure because if you're kind of been preaching these these natural ways for a lot of these pigs it kind of fits right into your wheelhouse absolutely you know i mean uh, like i said we're we're just small guys we don't do any uh you know uh production farming in the way of that kind of stuff we stay away from all that we're just we're just small little guys i deal with about you know 60 different small guys that have small little herds and things and it's been fun, you know. It's been uh, it's it's kind of just a little bit more transparent what's going on, and it's just it's just what we're doing. It's just what we offer, you know. And this is just something new, um, and we've had good success with it. And uh, you know, watch out, uh, acorn pigs! Here we come. <laughs> Everything and anything to get a different flavor in there. Well, William, I, clearly you've got a heck of a lot of people's attention. Thanks for the time. You bet. All right, on. We'll touch base in a year when you got the prosciutto on the go. Oh, everybody! A lot of years just went prosciutto. Ooh.